She has changed a lot since believing in God. I think that her outlook on things, her viewpoints, have also changed. She looks at things more philosophically, with more insight. You know, a few days ago, some believers in God from our village were arrested by the police. Chief Ma had me take you to the police station for an inquiry. It's an atheist party that doesn't allow belief in God. They particularly don't allow private home gatherings. This is a national policy. Having private gatherings in your home is opposition to the government. It's more serious than the crime of murder. It's creating a disturbance. And now I can finally see why Chinese society is so dark and evil. An old woman like me believes in God, and you are so afraid. You monitor me and interrogate me. What are you actually afraid of? Enough! On what basis do you randomly malign believers in God and force me to leave a fingerprint? Right now, the Communist Party has the final say. So if you don't listen to them, we won't have a day of peace. In any case, you simply can't believe in God anymore. Xu Ying. In this life, I have had the great fortune to see God in the flesh come speak and work to save mankind. Whatever you say, I will not give up on believing in God. Dad, you must keep a close watch over her. And don't let her believe anymore. Oh God, I am in pain. I feel so helpless. I'm begging for you to help me, to guide me. Liu Zhen! Liu Zhen! But I'm a doctor, and all I can do is treat illnesses. I can't perform miracles. <laughs> Mom! I shouldn't have listened to the police. It stopped you from believing in God. Mom! I let you down. I let you down. Well, during this illness, I saw some things clearly. I didn't have a say over my own fate. God is all-powerful. People's birth, aging, illness, and death are all in His hands. No one can change this. Liu Zhen, it is Almighty God who has given you a second life. I won't prevent you from believing in God, and I will believe with you. Let's spend our autumn years together happily. Thanks be to God. <laughs>